so they'll be calling you a radical. So this is real important because it took eight years for the hypocrites, the well petters, the greenwashers to wake up. The American manufactured Jesus, the backstabbers, fucking, they've been around for a long time, fucking. Why? So, Fukushima, no one woke up. No one woke up. Oh, I woke up the day it happened. Everybody was just like, mm hmm, hmm, nah, it's just major nuclear meltdowns, huh? Mm -hmm. Because Arnie Gundershield told you. I kicked Arnie Gundershield off my side after day six, kept arguing with Kevin, this is a fucking hydro book. Arnie Gundershield is a paid rat troll, and I can prove it. Sit down with the dude in the interview, I'll prove it. Unarguable proof. So is Chris Busby. I can prove it. Now, Helen, she's just a second-hand movie star who made for the right book. She knows nothing about nuclearism. Zero. I mean, she's living in, you know, she watched a movie and freaking, she was in Hollywood and a publicist found her. It's that simple. That's who had the field. Now, Lake Barrett, that's a whole other animal. This is real important because the hypocrites are awake because of Chernobyl. Now, and the well petters, the hypocrites, the freaking greenwashers. Of course, the backstabbers, they've been around because their hatred for Obama. Now, how did that happen? I'm the guy that met me and Jan Nissen and the Milky the Clown, which was nothing more a political operative. She was a Trump freaking political operative, you know, a right winger. You know, I love all the right wingers. Ah, we hate Bush, we hate Bush, we hate Bush, we hate Bush. Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh, he loved his cow, he loved, no, no, the Kavanaugh. The guy who freaking stole the election in 2000, the lawyer, Bush's personal freaking lawyer who orchestrated the whole thing. Bolton, 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 let's say better at Trump is Bush. I like, we hate him, we hate him, fuck, we're going out, we hate Bush, we hate Bush, I'm Alex fucking Liar Jones, when you really love Bush, when Trump is nothing but Bush. Look at his cabinet. Both look at his Supreme Court justice. Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh, he, I mean, the Bush guy, the guy that stole the election. And then you got the hypocrites, Obama, I like a Pelosi and Trump meeting. They're identical fucking corporatist whore twins. Fuck hello. So they got awake because of Patrick Henry, Henry Patrick. We invented him. Jan and I. And, you know, those fucking, the backstabbers. Remember that crowd that was all around me? Think about, oh, we're free radicals. Think about that, free radical. What's a free radical? Sending me stuff in the mail. Fucking freaking, you know, the greatest artist in the world. Blah, blah, blah. Remember, I was in critical condition dying of a disease that you can't survive. What's a free radical? It's a cancer cell. So they're awake, I knew Chernobyl would wake them up. So there's an article out today that says, and I'm gonna talk about Lake Barrett, who I know personally, who's running the cover-up. I mean the cleanup. I mean the cover-up. I mean the cleanup. I mean the cover-up of Fukushima. They entombed it with a solution of borax and, you know, look up my bloodlines. Go to the East California Museum and look at the name of the 20 Mule Team Borax guy. Look at the name on the wall. Is that my grandpa? Oh yeah. Christopher Blanche, that's my grandfather. Oh yeah, this city was named Blanche. So, that's him, my direct bloodline. His real last name was Christian Anderson from Denmark. He was adopted by a guy. There's something rotten in the new Denmark. So the hippie crits are awake. Because I knew this document would change the world. Because, and by the way, the, the documentary the HA is pure plagiarism. All the HBO documentary is, do you ever think you'd see your breath in late May? We can't keep up. We can't keep up. We're re see Johnny Blank James. See Dick Blank. See freaking. I mean, it's pathetic. This fucking immature fucking. The hypocrites on the left. The well petters. The greenwashers. This is all the wells fucking die. What would they do now? Let me. Here's your answer. You stupid. Nothing. Let it kill the Pacific Ocean. So one partial meltdown at Chernobyl. In two by 780,000 men, who so many of them gave their life. It's the Battle of Chernobyl in 2006, the award-winning documentary. I, you know, I helped work on that. I consulted on that. Risa, the greatest line ever spoken. The worst thing that came out of that freaking melted down reactor, partial meltdown. Well, I still say Teller did it. It was man made, you know, in the swamp. Oh, there's a hostel. Let's go visit. Let's go to Hanford. It's a national park. Let's go to the Nevada test site with a human lab rat and Gerald Mann, including Kevin Watch's father. Now even my little freaking beautiful fucking his great grandson has fucking three years old has fucking <laughs> neuroblastoma in his guts. No, it can't do that. Let's fucking radio roundup on chemo. What's he talking about? He goes too fast for me. Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh, Jeffers, 
Fucking the tower, they tore down the tower. Ooh, what's that smell like? Carmel is a dead fucking well. Right in front of Doris Day's house. Now, who's Doris Day's son? Who's Doris Day's son? Oh, the beach boy, the guy? No, no, that's Charles Manson's fucking partner. Look it up. Fucking same old thing, 1914, with their guns in their tanks and their CIA and their NSA and their fucking repressionary fucking tower. Fucking Jeffers as I drip into the fucking sea, you and me. What's he talking about? We can't handle. We're fucking immature fucking well petters. Green petter. I hate my kid has a green sign. I'm a hippie crate in Oregon. Yay, go to your pathetic fuckers. And that fucking Bible thumpers, yay, we're going to see Jesus with our AK-47, American Manufactured Jesus. We got our shiny fucking yellow rocks out of the gold hole. We're going to hunker down in the great white north, and we're going to go to hell. Fuck, you're going to hell, the whole fucking herd of you. Fuck, it's the most pathetic thing, it's the most obvious thing, is the scars of crap. The salmon number, so I ran regression yesterday. Now, this, you cannot make this up. The only scientist in the world that's had this number to date. Salmon go to sea. What? What? I live in Seattle. What's under my feet? Dead tide pools. What? What? The salmon have collapsed? What? What? Well, orcas starving to death. What about the greys? Greys, the hollow fucking spiritual creature, is the spring chinook salmon. It's the most spiritual creature in the fucking great northwest. And the, you know, the gray whales. They're diving and say, oh, gray whales. No, gray whales do not eat fucking fish, you fools. <laughs> too many? No, there's not too many. Scientists are mystified. They're baffled. They're stumped. So, my number's been dead on that record returns in 2015, right? The Spring Chinook salmon tell everything. I know now. <laughs> we have, they have off cliff. For the year right now, we're sitting at 45,000. Remember the lower, 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 lower projection was 160,000. You heard me right, 45,000. Spring runs over in a few days. I'm an Oregon fucking hypocrite duck. Go team. It's so fucking pathetic. It's on fucking Eugene. By the way, the hypocrites in Eugene, go walk around downtown Eugene and look at the fucking garbage and the pollution. And then you got your fucking right wingers. We're going to see American manufactured Jesus. Bring into the studio walk. They fucking, they, all lies, all lies. The prosperity gods, Joel Osteen died so I can be rich. Yay, they just make this fucking shit up. That's called Satan. That's called Satan, Jeffers. The tower fucking, what's that smell, honey? What's that smell of Carmel? Kevin Blanche, I wrote Fukushima killed me in its own blood in 2015 in Half Moon Bay. Now, yay, we got Kimmy. She's going to paint butterflies on the fucking wall. Fuck, we're going to save the people that killed the butterflies. Butterflies are free to fucking know to die. Fucking, what's Fukushima? They entombed it with fucking, you know, what would we do now? Nothing, you stupid fuckers. It could happen again. The worst thing that came out of those reactors was not seasoning, was not plutonium, was not iodine, it was lies. Battle of Chernobyl 2006, that HBO documentary plagiarized it. Plagiarized it. Wait 33 years, this is all they do. That's what fucking Hollywood, HBO, modern contemporary fucking culture, it's all plagiarism, it's reruns. It's reruns. That's all it is. There's no idea. There's no dynamic thinking. There's no original. There's no music. Fucking. There's no culture. There's no art. Fucking war. It's regurgitation. Fainting goats and you fight. Wolf. <laughs> yeah, we woke up. Fucking pathetic. The fucking whole YouTube fucking stratosphere atmosphere. Fucking around Fukushima. Who got around? Now this is an important story in that my incredible historic fucking work. Thank you to my army, my post ignorance army. There's been some that have been here the whole time that have got it out with me. It's been a long, ugly journey. I refused, as you know, to do any fucking interviews. After a fucking, they kept chopping me up and copping me up and fucking, I, I told, I'm so glad I told RT to fuck off. I'm the guy that invented the million mass march. I invented it. Me, John Anthony, and the Fairhurst boys, the Boston boys. We invented it. You know, we had seven million participants. Seven million. That's RT right behind me, following me. It was all rooted around Fukushima, the death of Baron Schwartz, which was all Fukushima, Fukushima, the cover up. Abby, 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 Trump's fucking, you know, Trump and Obama are on a fucking Abby's globalist fucking, the Japanese fucking imperialist leash. Trump and Obama are nothing but fucking Abby's bitches on a leash, leading them around. So snappy fucking close. So this is important. I refuse to do interviews. So finally, everybody's putting the pressure on me, putting the pressure on me. So I says, fuck it. Okay, I'll do interviews. So, I'll do interviews. My phone lit up like a Christmas tree. This is 2013. 
This is when they tried to team me up. The hypocrites, the greenwashers, and the well petters. He sees me, they don't care. So, disrespect for all the elders. I wasn't born with these scars across my face. I wrote Fukushima killed me on a well in fucking 2015 as I was walking the coast dying of leukemia. Oh, yay, the well, right wingers, we're going to call you every week. I'm Libby Havily, fuck, a pathetic. I'm fucking all of them. I, uh, oh, we all got sick. Sorry, Kev. Sorry, Kev. It becomes as natural as occupying a bird refuge. Ooh, what's that smell? Have you ever seen the calm before the storm? The calm before the storm. Have you ever seen it snowing on a late Sunday? So, as far as my tea at pole jumping, the whole fuck thing, oh, you don't finish these things. You know, I'm not doing all your fucking work. I want thinkers. I don't want regurgitating fucking fainting goats. I need fucking part of my army, my post ignorance army I've developed. This is the upper PhD level. This is my classroom because I burned my PhD and told the water school of fucking nuclearism to fuck off. Have you ever seen the snow coming down on a late May sunny day. So, I said, I'll do interviews. I did 90 fucking interviews in 60 days, and they were all radical, ra you should have heard them. Oh my God, it was a freak show. A freak show. Podcast from people's kitchens, fucking basements, fucking, you know, America, I mean, you should have. Uh, I remember one guy in East Tennessee, and I said, oh, you live in Oakland? He's like, well, who, who? There was a they were old couples, and they're like, well, am I right? You know, and first he says, well, we're going to start the show, but first I got to tell you, you know, and this is important. People that know a little bit about a lot of the most fucked up people on Earth, by far. Fukushima was the only reactor on Earth that was below below sea level and was sitting right. I was cutting my eyes. I says, what the fuck did you just say? It was a Mach 1, Mach 2, fucking water construction, G, floor construction, fucking Weber State University, Mach 1, Mach 2. There's 40 of them in the United States, including sending off. Are you out of your fucking mind? I told him to fuck off. I, I mean, I wanted to fucking, you know, Archie Bunger. Then I went right back to my boycott. I've only ever Skyped once. Archie's always Skyped. I am not Skyping with you fuckers. After you put Chris Busby on, Chris Busby says straight up, the ocean's a big place. It'll dilute anybody that knows anything. 101 fucking science. If it doesn't pollute, it grows. It doesn't fucking dilute, it grows. Chris Buzzy, one of the greatest frauds who ever fucking lived. He threatened me. He threatened me Why is in the bone marrow transplant center. You know, lots of people have threatened me. I, I mean, I've been threatened all over the internet. Fucking paid fucking private. Think about it. Felonies in all 50 states. Go to prison for that shit. I was in critical condition. The untouchables, they'd do anything to me. Me and Dunford, you know. So... The hypocrites are finally awake. It took them eight years, 3,000 fucking days later to say, oh, well, <laughs> yeah, because they were Obama cans, because Obama was their god. And then you had the right wingers, Alex Jones, fucking call it new when it's old. Where's his Fukushima videos now? Because his god, fucking Trump, he was nothing but a political operative. Trump is Bush. Trump is Bush. Bolton, let's invade Iran. Went off Afghanistan to kill the Taliban. Went off to Iraq to get a big old snack. Went off to Vietnam to kill the Viet Cong. How nice is we invented Daryl Isis, fucking Iran, 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 feed the military industrial box, fucking, you know, you need to stand up, pledge your, fuck the pledge of leave, fuck the U.S. military fucking machine, I like all on you need, thank you heroes, they heroes, they're victims, my dad, a special forces marine, fucking nuked to death, gave his fucking life. So we could take a fucking knee. I'll take a knee every fucking time. You think I'm standing up and pledge allegiance to this fucking debtor's hell? This corporate welfare fucking Pelosi fucking Trump whoredom? No, fuck you. Fucking I stand up. No, fucking no. I'm not afraid of. For I am not afraid of these fuckers. I'll tell you why I'm not afraid. You fake fuckers. For I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil. Fucking, he lay me down in green pastures at the fucking cliffs of Gordo, dying of leukemia, listening to the elephant seals by in my sleeping bag all alone. It feels like heaven, brother. He anointed me with dead war oil. I painted Fukushima, killed me. They came after me, tried to arrest me. The hypocrites 
in San Francisco says, we don't like the smell, we don't like the smell. We don't like, ooh, what's that smell? It's a dead well in Carmel. By law, you have to tote them to sea. They have to drip into the sea, Jeffers at the towers. Fucking, ooh, what's that smell in Carmel? That's Dorothy, I mean, those videos right there. <laughs> Me and Patrick did those fucking great videos fucking right there, the music, the day Caleb, my son killed himself, and my, grand, my nephew killed himself. You know, right there. Cannery Row on chemo. I was in Monterey when that happened. When I got the call, you cannot make up that Caleb, who was named after Caleb, that Caleb. I spoke at his funeral. I read Jeffrey's phone. I had to go home. We did those videos, Patrick and I, that front of Dorothy Day's house, right in front of Jeff Sowers that day. I was just fucking in tears. Within hours after I found out that this tragedy had happened in our family at Jeffers Hotel. My family's paid the price, your family's paid the price. My father, I watched him die in the prime of his life. I watched Annika, the Ukrainian, my mate. I watched her die. Because I'll tell you what, and all these people that are going after me, they don't get it. Not a bet of nose, you made me wait. Because it's been a long time. I got nothing left to win and I got nothing left to lose. My body's fucking scarred and tore up. I was not born with these scars across my face. He's active as a cop, got me. A fake, a marine, a phony, fucking lying cop with a pair of sucker punched me with a pair of brass knuckles. You know? I was not born with these scars across my face because I got nothing left to win and I got nothing left to lose. So this fight goes on with or without you.